Sounds up again, go for one of the Smile. Good morning, hi, how are you people? You're fine. Okay, me, I'm blessed, you're fine, I'm blessed. Me and my mother are blessed. You fine, I'm blessed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Well, welcome to Word of Power Movement. Oh, this is our third meeting of the year, and it's a privilege to be here. I am not scheduled to preach or teach, but I'm supposed to give a word, a prophetic word. Amen. Amen. I know people see somebody dressed smartly, they're like, ah, must be a deep guy, deep guy, is seeing everything. You know, we only see what God wants us to see. We only know what God wants us to know. After all, the word says, we know in part and we prophesy in part. Amen. But above all things, I believe it is important that the people of God always, each and every time, acknowledge the Lord. Amen. Because this is his house, so to say. It's not about a man. You can know my name, but my name does not count for anything if you do not know the name of Jesus. Amen. It counts for nothing if you can come today and you do not know the Lord Jesus. Now some of these things may not be easy to understand for everyone. Or they may, not everyone is covers to them. But what does it really mean to know Jesus? What does it mean to know the Lord? Amen. We're going to spend some time just worshiping God. Amen. There's this song, I, 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 the first time I ever sung it here was last year in September. This year, my, this cry finally made sense to me. Because I would always say, Lord, I want to know you. I want to know you. Put me a little closer and take me a little bit deeper. I want to know your heart. Because the most important thing about any relationship you ever have in life is that the person who you are connecting with has feelings and they have desires as well as much as you have desires. So I know God has desires because the word has told me that God has desires. So my life is lived out in knowing the desires of God. That when I know his desires, then I can align myself how I live. Psalms 37 verse 4 says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He shall grant you the desires of your heart. So desires themselves, the desires I have and the things I long for in this life, sometimes count for nothing. If I have not delighted myself in knowing God. Amen. 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 Your love has ravished my heart and taken me over. Taken me over. And all I want is to be. 
We are going to, I don't know how. I only have one short thing to speak from the book of Isaiah 46 verse 10. I don't know if you sit when I'm done, if you manage to sit when I'm done. Isaiah 46 verse 10. I just want to read this one scripture to you. Isaiah 46 verse 10 reads, Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, things that are not yet done, say, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Declaring the end from the beginning. Looking back at where we have come from and the things that have happened in our lives. Looking back at the experiences of life. Looking back at the tragedies that some of us have had to go through. Looking back at the mistakes that we have made. Looking back at the things that did not go for us. Looking back at everything that has happened and having one thing stand true that what God desired to do from the beginning shall still come to pass because the Lord does not give up on his word Amen, Amen. Amen. I want to encourage someone today we are not naive people in our prayers we are not naive in our preaching we are not naive you are real people who have come to a real God but sometimes there's, there's something that we quite don't feel, we don't quite feel it we are not quite there because people can tell you the goodness of God and it sounds good but have you had the reality of it to come for this meeting today we have not come so that you can know my name and follow me up later talk to me whatever all these things that people want out of the platform no people of God whether you're saved or you're not saved or you don't even understand what it means to be saved <laughs> there is a dividing line somewhere in life where everything else can cease to make sense. Everything else can lose value, everything else can lose meaning. But the love of God. Amen. Amen. Everything in this world can fade. What does that have to do with the faith revolution, Emmanuel? That doesn't really make sense. Well, let me tell you what it has to do with it. We who are saved by the grace of God and brought into the kingdom, are meant to be ambassadors of the kingdom of God in this earth. We're meant to take the love of God to the orphans, to every person out there. We're meant to touch the world. But do you know that it would be impossible for us to touch the world? Minus the empowerment of his love in our hearts. Because it is when we have that love that we we'll be compassionate in what we do for others. Today, the thing that is burning in my heart is that we are here not because I am a solitary person existing as one person alone. I have so many people around me. I live in a world that is full of things, full of ideologies, full of theories, full of myths, full of gods, full of things that people are devoted to. But you know the one thing that has gone missing from our time is that very few people are finding themselves at the place of the fire of the Lord. Very few people know what it means to say, I am a Christian. 
Because there can be no true faith unless the faith that you have begins first in God. That's why he says in Hebrews 11, They that come to me must come believing that I am. The most important thing is that do you believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. That's the most important thing. Listen, I don't have too many words to say. I don't, I'm not, I don't pride myself in having too much to say, even though I do have a lot to say. What I do pride myself in is allowing him to touch someone through me or whatever means he decides to use. The matter of the fact is that lives must be changed. Amen. It is that simple. Amen. It is that simple. Amen. 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 It's that simple. Hallelujah. Amen. It is that simple. Our faith is close to meaningless without the love of God. It is close to meaningless. It, it basically stands to represent nothing if we don't have the love of God in us. What does it mean to love God? What does it really mean to follow after God? Amen. Amen. Don't give me very serious faces. I know it's I know it's I know there are some thoughts being provoked in the way I'm speaking. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know what I want us to be provoked? There is a place where we strive. For God to do something, there are, there's a place we can work. There's a place we can we can we can seriously put our effort into something, and there's a place we simply just ask God to be God. Period. Amen. Amen. Even if you came, maybe maybe we don't know. You don't belong to our camp. You belong to that other camp for that guy who fell from heaven, and you even registered in his book, as in like you even sent on missions for a witch. We really love you. Uh, you can see me later, I'll lead you to Christ. It's okay, we love you so much. But the matter of the fact is, this time, it's about Jesus and Jesus alone. Amen. We are not going to lift up one person in this place. I'm going to lift up the name of God. Amen. As I say, you may not understand everything. We were not meant to understand everything. The smartest people in this world barely understand what they are smart about. They, they still get confused in their own studies. When anything is questioned, when anything is challenged, they will still murmur, they will still stammer at what they have known all these years. Amen. But today is the day that someone's life was completely transformed. Amen. That's what it means. That's what it means. When we come to a day such as this, there will be battles that the devil does not even want you to hear the word of God. Just some, just the, 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 the message stuff. Someone starts to teach you that does. Why? Because the word is a seed. And if the seed can take root in you, you will grow up to be someone who can never be shaken in life. Because you will stand with God. So the difference makers of our time must be people who have the word of God. It is that simple. If you want to tell me that there is no power in the word of God, I will ask you, how many of you can come to me and teach me something that you have learned? Where do you get it from? Words in a book that was written by a man. It has given you power. You have gotten a job because of words that were written by a man. What about the words that were written by God? That's the difference. Faith comes by hearing and hearing his word. Not any other word. Even when you hear other things, they also build faith in whatever it is that you're being directed to. If you are continually reading the, the calamity of the things that are happening in the nation, if your faith will be built, you'll never be living for good. You'll be applying for a job without any hope of getting it. Why? Because everything in you tells you it is impossible. There are no jobs in Zambia. Who told you? Who told you people don't get healed? Who told you people don't get delivered? Who lied to you? People try to discredit the existence of Jesus. They are fooled. Either 
whether we are the smartest people on earth or we are the dumbest as Christians. Either we are following after a God who is real or following after no one. It is that simple. But if I know the God that I know and the God that I serve, something today must change. Amen. It is not preaching to excite you, it is preaching to provoke something in you. Because there are many of you who have not even taken one step into the life that God ordained for you. Because number one, some of you are still living in the things that God doesn't want you to live in. The price that you have to pay for living in the wrong things is just too lousy, if I may put it like that. I want to be kind. I'm called beans sometimes, but let me be kind. Let me just be kind. Hey, at least you remember, Monday is my birthday, so it's my birthday present, you know. Just, uh, just in case, just in case you have a birthday, you know that I will bind you. Okay, don't bind me. But purpose is written on each and every one of you. What this day should represent for you is an opportunity for you to move from one level to the next. For you to move from the levels of yesterday, the struggles of yesterday, the addictions of yesterday, the failures of yesterday, and begin to take steps forward. Amen. It is time. It is time you stopped wandering in the wildernesses of this life. It is time you stopped standing on a line when there are two places of different colors. It is either you are on the gray side or you are on the other side. It's better here for Jesus than for the devil. Sounds a bit harsh to say again, but that's what scripture says. You can never stand in between two places. You're double-minded. You can never have focus in life. Amen. Amen. Provoking you into your very, your very destiny. Something must happen. Something must be triggered. You cannot just be who you have been all these years. They only know you by your weaknesses. Dance can have bed. How many of you are ever in positive reports of yourself? People just know the negative side of you. But God must change something. He must transform you from the inside. Because when what's on the inside is worked out, what will be on the outside will be an expression of the nature of God. Amen. This is where we begin to become holy for He is holy. This is the time, people of God, when the kingdom of God must progress from everything that has held us back. We cannot be in our communities that are full of sinners and we brush shoulders with them. We hug them. We pat them on the back, go and sin and die. It's okay. I love you, my neighbor. No, there's no true love there. Amen. Amen. How are you? I love that song. <laughs> oh. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. No Bible, there's no nodding of heads. There's only amen. The promises of God are yes and amen. There's no nodding of heads. We just say amen. Amen. So shall it be for Zambia. So shall it be. Amen. amen. So now, for five minutes, five minutes for five very short minutes. We're going to do something. Something very... How can I put it? Something different. Okay? Look at yourself. Consider your life. This is not one of those moments someone asks you to the way you begin to feel condemned. No. This is that moment you must feel loved by God. Amen. Amen. I pray now that all, every person who has any kind of brokenness in their heart because of anything that has happened in your past, today it must be raised in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because as the scripture that we read, his counsel shall stand. He shall do his pleasure. In other words, regardless of what has happened, the Lord shall perform what he wants to perform. That even over this day, as you will be taught, you will be preached to, you will be impacted and imparted to, there will be something about you that shall never, ever be the same. Amen.
Amen. Thank you. Please give me the keyboard. People want the keyboard. Music is nice for them. They will feel the presence. I want you to be joyful. Love is a beautiful thing. No, 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 no. People want to close their eyes. No, 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 no. No, no, this moment is that moment you hug yourself and say, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, thank you for loving me. I don't know why it keeps coming back to me. Because some people need healing. You need to be healed. To be healed, issues of the heart. People also. Amen. 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 This is the moment you feel love. Lord, thank you for loving your people. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving me. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, Lord, even as I pray, my Father, let the Holy Spirit minister unto us this day. The love of God. Let our faith be born out of love. Let all of our desires be born out of love in you. Let everything, oh my Father, that concerns us, let it find its identity in you. Let it find its purpose in you. Let it find its purpose in you, Jehovah God.
God loves you so much. God loves you so much. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you.